What is up YouTube? So today I am going to explain why not to send your books out to CCS or any of these other grading services and actually invest in pressing the books yourself and walk you through everything you need to press a comic book. But if you're new to this channel, let's start. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos before I get started. Okay, so you wanna press a comic book, but you're scared of ruining a comic book, right? So how do you get good at it? You get good at it by practicing on non-valuable comic books, right? So you wanna take any book out of your collection that could possibly use a press that might not be such a key book, but definitely has some issues with it, right? That's where you wanna practice, that's where you wanna start. So there's three main things you need only three main things you need you can get caught in the weeds with a lot of other stuff with cleaning and steaming and all kinds of other stuff but i'm going to focus on the three main things right the first main thing you need is a press right so number one a press okay so what type of press do you need you do not want a clamshell press right you do not do not, do not want a clamshell press. Why? Because that'll press your book in a direction that your book is not supposed to go. You want a swing away press. I will leave a link in the description of a very affordable swing away, swing away press. This press ranges anywhere from like 90 to $130 on Amazon. Very, very affordable. So you're, that's your most expensive thing, right? So if you wanted to get five or six books graded by CCS, you're already in 120 bucks. This press will run you at most 130 bucks shipped to your house. That is the number one thing you need. The number two thing you need. The number two thing you need, you probably already have an abundance of. That is backer boards, right? You need oversized backer boards. And what I mean by oversized is like silver aged, right? A little bit bigger than your average comic book. You don't want to use modern because they're a little small and sometimes they might shift and might not sit right on the book and leave a crease. So Silver Age, which are going to be bigger than your book, you probably have a ton of these. You don't need to buy anything, right? You already have these in your collection, right? So that's number two. Number three, you probably definitely don't have is silicone parchment paper, right? These are also available on Amazon. I'll leave this link in the description as well. I think I paid roughly like 15 bucks for like a pack of a hundred. They're not really reusable. Uh, sometimes you might be, if you put four or five in a book, you might be able to reuse one or two of them if they still look nice and flat, but if they get wavy, they're not reusable. So you will go through these. So. $130 for a press tops, backer boards you have, 15 bucks for silicone parchment paper, you're under 150 bucks. You're in business to start pressing your own comic books without paying someone to do it. Now that, what I'm gonna walk you through is the basic, basic steps of where you start, where everybody that buys a press starts, right? I'm not gonna do anything crazy, but focus on the basic steps of pressing a comic book with these three main things and nothing more, nothing less. So bring you over to the press and I'm gonna walk you through how to press a comic book very simple okay so for pressing any comic book you need three backer boards if you see I already have one sitting on this press and like I said a swing away press swings away so it goes up and down it does not squish it in a weird fashion so it's a swing away press I have it preheated to 160 degrees 160 degrees is the maximum temperature you want to use for a Bronze Age, Silver Age, anything older than a modern comic book. If it's a modern, newer magazine pages, I'll get into that in another video, but that you want to go even lower temperature because too much heat will cause you to what we call brick the book and make the book rock hard, so you don't want to do that. 160 max. Um, some people like a little less, 150, 155, but I'm gonna go with 160 for demonstration purposes. Okay, so this is the book I am pressing. Um, nothing too crazy with the cover, a little bit of waviness in it, 
it does have a few spine ticks. Um, you know, I'm not going to get this book from a 6070 to a 98. However, I can get this book from a 6 to a 7, or maybe from a 6 to like a 7.5 if it's done properly. So, first thing I'm going to do is with this backer board, I am going to put a sheet of silicone parchment paper down so the cover, the back cover, does not stick to anything, right? So that's the first step. After that, I have a silicone parchment paper inside the front cover and inside the back cover, so the cover does not stick to the pages. All right, so I'm gonna lay this on here, make sure and it's square on that backer board. And then I am gonna take another parchment paper, lay it on top before I put another backer board squarely on top of the comic. Now these are oversized, so if I don't get it perfect, it's okay, but it needs to cover all edges. You don't want it to be slightly turned on the comic because if it's if it's turned on the comic and doesn't catch the whole book, you will see a slight line from the backer board being pressed against it, so make sure it covers it completely. So once you have all that done, you're ready to press, right? So. This is a swing away with the clamp. This is a little lever up top where my hand is. You could loosen or tighten the tension. So it's a little tight, so I'm gonna loosen it, press it down. I am gonna leave this under heat for roughly five minutes, um, which is quick, right? Sounds great, oh, five minutes I could press a book? No, five minutes under heat. After the five minutes of heat, you need to leave this in the press until the press is completely, completely cold, which is gonna take at least two to three hours before this press is ice, ice cold again. So, leave it in for five minutes. When the timer goes off, I'm gonna shut it off, and then I'm gonna let it sit in there for two and a half hours probably, and pop it open and show you the results. But these are the basic steps of pressing a comic book. Um, the most important step of everything I just spoke about is not rushing it and leaving it in the press until this press is cold. Because if you take this, this book out early, when this timer goes off, it might look okay, but it's going to revert back to the way it was because it's not going to cool off under that pressure of being pressed down. So very, very, very important. A lot of people skip this. I skipped it when I first started pressing. I don't want you to make the same mistakes as me, so leave this in the press until it's ice, ice cold, um, and you'll have much, much better results. So, three things you need. It's the press, maximum $130, oversized backer boards, which you probably have an abundance of, and some silicone parchment paper, so nothing sticks together. You're in business. Um, once you master this, I have other videos of using a metal plate, pressing with steam, cleaning, so on and so forth. But this is the basics of pressing. Anybody could do this. And if you buy a press and you press a book for the first time, you're gonna be like, wow, I did this myself. Yeah. Test it out, try it, you're gonna love it. You're gonna wanna press every single book in your collection probably when, once you get the hang of it. So I will pull this book out in a couple hours and show you guys what it looked like. So we'll be back in a few. Okay, so we're about three hours later, and this press is ice, ice cold. It's been off for about three hours now. Open this up. Swing it away. And as you can see, all the waviness in the cover is gone. You know, spine ticks are still there, but at least they're flat now. Um, so definitely, I think I improved this book maybe by half a point. Um, you know, sometimes the book is damaged, it's damaged, and there's nothing you could do about it. But the main reason of this video, though, wasn't to show you what I can do with the press. It was really to walk you through what you need to actually press a comic book. Comic book press swing away oversized backer boards and some silicone parchment paper 
And then from there, you could build from there, get a metal plate, which I have over here, get a steamer, do some different other techniques, but the basic comic book pressing, those are the things you need. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.